This is Audios. In November of 2023, I downgraded this account from an ultimate Ironman to a regular Ironman with one goal in mind. I want to take on the biggest challenges within RuneScape, and I want to obtain the best gear in the game. Follow along on my Ironman progress series. All right, so I'd like to get back to work on Slayer, and in order to do that, I would like to have a quick way to change my spellbook to Ancients because I have a lot of burst tasks. So I'd like to get the Camulet. So I'm about to go do Anakra's Lament so that I can unlock the Camulet. All right, so there is the quest completed, and we got our Camulet, and we also got level 74 fire making from that. Um, this is gonna be really nice. How many charges does it come with? Only four. If you recall, we ended the last episode with getting a Tazar task for Slayer. We are still on the Slayer grind. So this was my first time ever doing a Tazar task uh, by doing the bursting method where you use an alt, and basically all I'm doing is I'm tagging the little ones where it makes the other Tazars attack you, and I'm just using splash gear. That's what I'm doing on my alt account, which is just my main account. But anyway, then I just kind of try and stack it up, make a nice little pile and get to barraging on the Iron Man. It was my first time ever trying the method. I got up to about 50,000 um, Slayer XP per hour, which I, I think is pretty below what you're supposed to get. So I have definitely room for improvement, but it was it was a lot of fun. I actually like really enjoyed it. It was a little more engaging than some of the other burst tasks I've done. It is time for another task from Duradel. I would really like to see Dagoneth's um, Bloodveld. All right, another burst task. Let's go do it. Well, unfortunately, before we can do this task, we have to get some more runes. We only have about 100 casts worth of ice burst left right now. Um, this is our entire cash stack right now. We're going to be spending quite a bit of it, I'm afraid. So let's go ahead and stock up. All right, so there you have it. Got some more death runes, got some more water runes, and uh, yeah, we're down to 550k. But we have a lot of stuff that we get we can alk right now, um, but yeah, we'll do that once we change our spellbook back. We're gonna go ahead and do our hard clue real quick before we start this Bloodveld test, because if we're lucky, we'll get another one. All right, time for hard casket number 25. Ooh, that's bad. This should be the casket right here. We've already got good luck because we've got a good alkable from that fire battle staff. And now the trolls are gonna bring us even more good luck with a zombie head. Can I wear this thing? Oh, I can wield it. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. Same method as always on bursting these blood builds and we are getting some juicy XP rates. Oh, all right, there is level 69 Slayer. Nice. I am a bit worried about the GP situation because we spent half our cash stack and we've used over a thousand chaos runes from this task alone. So, um, and we're like only halfway done. So yeah, GP is going to be an issue. We're going to have to figure out how to get more GP because right now we are down bad. Hey, there is an ancient shard, which most people wouldn't make a clip about, but this is the only, the second one that I have on my account and I would really like to make an arc light. So it is pretty relevant, pretty successful task there. We got our third ancient shard. We gained well over 100,000 magic XP, which was really nice, and a ton of Slayer XP. Um, we did end up using about 1,500 Chaos Runes, though. So, I don't know, do the math. Probably cost us like 300K or something like that. Add in the Death Runes, probably like 400K. So, um, yeah, that's going to be an issue. Anyway, let's go ahead and get a task Rune Dragons. I don't know whether or not I should skip this. I don't know how hard that's going to be on this account. Yeah, screw it. I don't want to do Rune Dragons. And I mean, we've got 92 Slayer points. We're rich. Cancel that crap. Let's try again. Oh! All right, we just completed our troll task. I think I'm just going to go ahead and do three Turial tasks real quick, just because I really want to get that 110 bonus because I need points so bad right now. All right, we did our three Turial tasks, and then we got trolls from Duradel. All right, there is a hard clue from one of the elves. Let's go get this done real quick. Hard casket number 27, I think. No, we got a duplicate war blessing. That is unfortunate. It would have been nice um, to get any any other God Wars dungeon war uh, blessing, but um, oh well, that's a dupe. All right, there is our elf task completed, and we got 75 Slayer points, which I really needed. Before we do anything else, I want to go do the Throne of Miscellanea quest so that I can manage my kingdom and start getting free crap every day. Yes, I should have done this a long time ago, but I'm doing it now. All right, there is Throne of Miscellanea completed. I now need to go do Royal Trouble though real quick to maximize my rewards. 
All right, there is royal trouble completed. Now I just need to get money so that I can start doing kingdom. All right, it is time to make some money so that we can do kingdom. So how am I going to be doing that? I'm going to be training agility. Man, I really wish I could pick up those white berries. Iron life, right? Uh, I'm going to be doing some agility while alking off all of this, which, by the way, I got 100 fire battle staffs from all the pickpocketing of elves that we did. So that's going to be a nice little cash stack from that alone. But we're going to alk all this and train agility. All right, we are now getting our favor up or approval, whatever it's called. Um, I'm going to go ahead and max this out. That was a very good session, though, of doing agility and alking because we now have over 5 million GP. We're obviously not going to be putting everything into the coffer, but I'm going to put quite a bit. All right, so let's get after this. Uh, I'm going to open up the kingdom here, and first we're going to deposit money. So I know at all times you wouldn't have over 750k. So I don't know. I think I'm going to do like maybe two mil to start things off. And so then I believe I want to take everything off of what's in here to start. And I want herbs like all the way up. That's the best thing. And then also I think teaks are really good to get so I can use that for construction. And what do I just like exit out now? Like, am I good? Is it saved? Oh, it's saved. All right, cool. So yeah, I guess I just leave it like this and then I can come back and collect sometimes and hopefully get some good stuff. It is time for another Duradel task. Let's see what we get. Oh my gosh, I hate these so much. Why do I keep getting trolls? All right, there's the Duradel task completed. We got two long bones from that, but that's not going to be the only long bone after I get Dagoneth. So, okay, lizard men, that'll work. Um, let's go do some Lizardman Shaman. Well, I took a little bit of a break from Slayer and went and did a little bit more TOA and mainly just saw white lights. I also got horrible loot from my chest, though, so that makes up for it. Hey, Thread. I'll take it. Yeah. All right, Expert TOA number 10. This one was a 315. Do we get a purple? There is a purple, but it is not mine. Sad game, sad game. All right, let's see what this guy got. Mm, you hate to see those. All right, there is our Lizardman Shaman task completed. We got a lot of GP from that. We also got like some really weird drops, like a Celastra seed and some other seeds that might be super rare. I'm not really sure, but I'm too scared to check the wiki. Well, I'm back at this place. Um, I think I'm going to start doing one Corrupted Gauntlet run every day just to get some GP to upkeep my kingdom. And then also it would be nice to get some crystal shards on the side to keep my armor, uh, my crystal armor charged. So I think I'm going to start doing that. All right. Just like riding a bike, man. I even did a tier one prep that time just to try it out. And it went decent. What do we get? Nine crystal shards, no GP, but hey, nine crystal shards. That's really good. So that'll be 300 um charges for each of my pieces of crystal armor and i'm gonna go put it on it right now back to duradel we go let's see what we get next worms okay i'm actually kind of excited about this i've never killed them before on my main account um so i've actually been kind of looking forward to getting this uh, task hey we got ourselves a hard clue scroll from the worms so let's go do that real quick all right there is hard casket number 27 i think no uniques Hey, there's level 88 defense during this worm task. All right, there is our worm task completed. That gets us pretty close to 200 Slayer points. And y'all know what's next. Let's go get another task from Duradel. I would really like to see Dagoneths because I still don't have a B-ring. I'm getting trolled. I'm skipping this. I'm actually going to skip this right now. I'm just, I, I can't. I can't. That's so many. Lizardman, I'll take it. All right, I think I'd like to knock out the wilderness, at least easy and medium diaries, maybe the hard, depending on how I'm feeling. Um, so I need to do between a rock real quick. So I'm going to get that done so that I can complete the diaries. All right, there is between a rock completed. Now let's go work on the diaries. We just completed the medium diary, and I think this is going to be where I take a break for now. We'll go back and get the uh, hard done eventually, but we're just going to go ahead and spam through this and claim our rewards. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and use this on Herblore um, because I'm pretty close to getting a level in Herblore. So we only have 20k to go now. Well, with the Wilderness Diary completed, I was feeling confident. 
And I decided to go give Calvarion a piece of my mind in the wilderness. The drops here are fantastic for Ironmen. And I did about 25 KC, um, but then I ended up having this happen. Oh no. I believe we are about to die. Run, baby. Run. I don't see us surviving this one. Dang. Yeah. We died. Well, I don't have a Dagoneth task, but I just finally said screw it. And I'm going to go ahead and do another trip, even though I'm not on task, because I really need a Berserker ring. And this time I also brought range gear. I'm going to try the method where you kill Rex and Prime, and we'll see how it goes. Oh, all right. KC 138, we get a duplicate warrior ring. Not what you want to see. Well, unfortunately, that is the only clip I got from my DK's trip because that is the only drop that I got from my DK's trip. Um, so after that, I kind of decided I wanted to start working on Herblore a little bit more. Um, so I used up all the potions that I have, which I'll put a screenshot on the screen right now. I had a ton of um, just herbs saved up. So I converted all of these into unfinished potions myself by combining them with vials of water. And then I just got all the secondaries myself as well. Um, the big one was using potato cactus for all the lantidimes, which was a huge chunk of XP. And after doing this, I ended up getting my herblore level all the way up to level 77, which is huge because now I can boost to make brews. So definitely planning on doing that in the near future. All right, so now that all that fun stuff's over, it's time for us to get back to this shaman stats that we have. And I'm hoping that we get that red hammer. Wouldn't that be, wouldn't that be a sweet little treat? All right, so that should be the last kill of the task. That is another Lizardman Shaman task completed. No sign of the Dragon Warhammer just yet, but if we take a look at the loot tracker, we can see we have over 600 KC now. But unfortunately, we do not have the red Smashy Boy just yet to show for it. It is time for a new task. I would love to see Basilisk, Dagoneths, or Black Demons. Black Demons would mean it's time for Monkey Madness too. Let's see what we get. That, my friends, is what we're going to call a block list. We're going to be blocking fire giants. Um, no reason to ever do them. Let's try again. Black dragons, that's a quick one. All right, there's our black dragon task completed. Let's go try again. All right, let's give this another go. What do we get? Worms. We are all geared up for our worm task, but before we do this, we're going to do our one quick corrupted gauntlet run of the day. I feel like this was probably the fastest prep I've had yet. Um, still three minutes left. We're going to try it again with the tier one armor and see how it goes. GLS, as always. All right, man, that keeps you fresh. All right, uh, is that a PB? It was a PB, 940. Um, let's see what we get. All right, a couple room plate bodies, good alkables, and nine crystal shards. I'll take it. So a quick breakdown of the method that I'm using on these worms. I'm using my expeditious bracelets to try and speed this task up a little bit. And then I'm using my thralls as well as death charge so that I can spec these out as much as possible with the dragon dagger. And you really shred these things doing this and uh, it's a pretty quick task. All right, there is the last kill of our worm task. That puts us up to 116 tasks in a row. Now we just need to head back to our good friend Duradel and see what he has up for us next. All right, Duradel, be good to me, please, dust devils. Um, it's a good task. Uh, it's not really what I wanted right now though. And the reason being is that I don't have a Slayer Helm. So I'm gonna have to do this one with a nose peg, um, which means that I'm gonna be losing DPS, but it should be fine. All right, so our screen is red, but we just got level 92 attack. And we also uh, just hit level 115 combat. So making some incredible gains right now. And I did just choose to go ahead and just melee this Dust Devil task. Um, because it's AFK and I like AFK. All right, so that should be our Dust Devil task completed. We gained 27,000 XP. Man, that is not very good. Um, all right, anyway, I'm kind of thinking I might go ahead and do a couple of quick Turial tasks so that I can get that 120 task bonus. So let's go do that real quick. All right, there is two quick Turial tasks completed. Let's go get a new one from Duradel. Duradel, my friend, I am back for my Basilisk task. Black demons, hey, that's one of the three we wanted. So that means, ladies and gentlemen, we are headed to do Monkey Madness 2 because we're going to be doing these at the Demonic Gorillas for a chance at the Zenite Shard, which we can turn into Zenite Jewelry, which is the best jewelry in the game. 
Although we don't have the crafting level yet to make it, um, we still want to get it if we can because it's really good. And once we have the crafting level, we can go ahead and convert it into Zenite jewelry. Okay, so we're going to get to Monkey Madness 2 very soon, but before we do that, we have something else we need to do. Today is February 21st, and that probably doesn't ring a bell for most of you, but Jagex added an update to the game today. They brought into the game the Defender of Varrock quest, and one of the rewards from this quest is that you have access to armored zombies, which drop the broken zombie axe, which you can repair at a rate of 1 in 800. This axe is basically like a new bridge between the Dragon Scimitar and the Abyssal Whip, it kind of seems like it's a little bit closer to the whip than it is the Dragon Scimitar, but this is a huge melee upgrade for me that I have to go take care of as soon as possible. I am so excited to be doing this on day of release right now. I'm usually so behind on updates, but here we are. Day one, we're talking to Elias White to start the Defender of Varrock quest. All right, so there is Defender of Varrock completed. We got a good little uh, chunk of XP from that, and um, we actually got a Hunter level from it as well. All right, so with the quest completed, here's the plan. I am going to be using a salve E here um, because it does work on these zombies. And I'm going to be using basically very similar gear that you would use at Calvarion. I'm just going to be using um, prayer bonus. Reason for that is because I plan on AFKing this. And I, I actually think that these zombies don't lose aggression, which is nice. Could be wrong on that. Again, this is day one, so I don't think a lot of people know exactly what to do yet. Um, but looking at the wiki, it does look like they're weak to crush. So that's why I'm going to go with the dragon mace instead of the dragon scimitar. We're going to see how this goes. All right, I have extended this trip as long as I possibly could because it is really hard right now to find an empty world to kill these things. But we are officially all out of supplies, all out of everything we brought. So... We got 232 kills. Um, honestly, not too terrible of loot. You get a lot of planks and stuff and decent little chunk of runes. So um, not, not too bad, but we're going to probably lose our spot when we go to bank real quick. Well, an update on the zombie grind here. We are at 538 KC, which we're not at the drop rate yet, so I can't complain. But I was kind of just like hoping I would walk up and get spooned to the thing. That didn't happen though, but I did find a little secret. Don't tell anybody. Um, what I'm doing is anytime I need to bank, I have my main account logged in. Well, it's logged out right now, but I have my main account loaded up at the exact same spot. So he holds my spot for me while I run and get uh, new supplies. So it's working pretty good and hopefully we can get this soon. Well, I wasn't aware, but evidently if you don't finish the quest and you just killed the zombies like during the quest in that instanced uh, portion of the cave, they also drop the axe and you don't have to deal with the crowd of everybody else. I wish I would have known this, but I didn't. So it is what it is, but maybe that'll help uh, one of you out there watching this. All right. Well, that is another trip completed. We are at 700 KC. I pulled my main over to hold the zombies, and I'm gonna go bank real quick. All right, I am at 799 KC, which means that if I do not get the ax right here, I have officially gone dry. Just, a, I got a freaking mace, dude. Okay, maybe I just need to get a kill with the adamant mace for good luck. What do you think? Surely, surely this will give me the zombie ax marital. All right, so quick update. I think with this next hit right here, now we're going to hit a zero, of course. Oh, a double zero, really? There it is. Level 96 strength, which is pretty crazy. We are getting up there. We are really getting up there. Um, but we are over 900 KC now, and that also means we've gained 350,000 strength XP during this grind, which is a little bit ridiculous. Um, but, you know, I don't have good enough mage gear to make it worth it to do bursting. So I guess I don't know if salve works on mage or not. I don't know. I'm just doing this by melee and um, it's it's been working fine so far. I've seen so many people in the CC get this drop without me and I just feel like I'm getting some FOMO right now. So I just want to speed this up and get this as quickly as possible. So I'm just going to hard camp piety. It's not the uh, best use of prayer pots, but I am really going to start shredding these things now. That zombie right there marks KC number 1000. Well, we are now officially 1200 kills into the grind. And just for reference, um, we are now 10% of the way to 97 strength. And I've been doing this for close to six hours now. 
So, um, yeah, I don't want to leave because I don't want to lose this spot, but I'm about to have to call it <laughs> for the day, probably, if I don't get this thing very, very, very soon, which is disappointing. Um, but it is what it is. That's what, how RNG goes sometimes, so. All right, well, I am unfortunately going to have to be calling it. Let's see how many KC we did today. 1,344. Uh, we're going to have to call it there, though. Let's try this again. I will not accept defeat today. We will be getting this axe one way or the other. Well, I finally decided to go ahead and try and change up my strategy a little bit. So I tried a trip doing Ice Burst and Blood Burst. And honestly, the DPS was not great. And at the cost of the runes, I decided it honestly wasn't worth it. So I ended up going back to melee. Well, this is not the update I wanted to be giving, but unfortunately I am at 1600 KC now, which means that I am over double the drop rate. All right, so it's been a while since my last update. I'll try to make this quick. We just gained a prayer level, which is ridiculous because I'm only getting two prayer XP per kill from my bone crusher, but that is level 71 prayer. Um, if we take a look at our loot tracker, we are at 1939 KC now. So closing in on the big 2K, I've been killing these things for so long that I think I myself am starting to become a zombie. All right, we just surpassed 2000 KC, and it is time for me to take a little bit of a break from these things and go touch grass. Well, unfortunately, I am now at 2,500 zombies killed with still no sign of the X. I missed it. Oh, I knew I was going to do that, man. I got so excited that I got the drop that I forgot to save the clip. No, we just got the drop. It took 2,520 armored zombies but we got the drop and i missed the clip but i did get a screenshot i'll show i'll show the screenshot so so you guys see it we we got it all right so now we've got the broken zombie axe time for a big moment here we will use it on an anvil and repair it and i guess it takes a little bit okay 500 smithing xp man that might be the new best training method in the game there it is. It looks pretty cool, honestly. Like, I really like it. I hate the way the cudgel looks, so I'm really glad we have something that we can use instead that is, um, I guess, more appealing to the eyes. All right, let's see what the new max hit with the axe is. Ugh, it's a 50, and of course, I just have the dummy with my regular gear. Um, but once I get the B-ring and things, it's going to go up even more, man, and it's so accurate. The stats on this thing are insane. Plus 142 slash and plus 126 for crush. Jagex, truly, if this thing doesn't get nerfed, they just changed the Iron Man meta for forever. From now on, like you're not going to see Iron Man using a Dragon Scimitar from basically level 40 Slayer until 85. Everybody's going to be using this axe now. So um, it's, it's really good until you get the whip. This is the place that I am the most excited to test this axe out at. Let's see how we do on Calvarion. 51 look at that oh it's beautiful with the uh with the salve this thing is uh kind of crazy oh man the hellhound just gets shredded now look what happens to, to calvarian let's pot up so we can get some big juicy hits 16 ko 22 ko big hit oh 33 it's like every single time you swing okay that one was only a nine but it's like every single time you swing it's a big number 42 I kind of wonder if this thing will have any use in PvP, actually, because um, it hits pretty hard. 49, look at it, go, KO. All right, first Calvarion kill. Um, it wasn't like, in, I don't think it's like overpowered, so I don't think they should nerf it. It's definitely fun to use. I, I really like it. Um, so very, very happy I got this. Not happy with how much time it ended up taking, but happy that I got it. Well, originally I wanted to complete Monkey Madness 2 in this episode, but this axe ended up taking about three times longer than I was expecting it to. So I don't think we're going to have time for this one, but in the next video, we're going to knock out Monkey Madness 2, and I'm thinking we might send a little bit more Calvary on. We'll catch you in the next one. Adios.